And Bill Belichick joins us this morning on the Harbor One Hotline. Hey, Bill. Hey, Greg. How you doing? Doing well. Um, I know this came up a little bit uh, post-game. Um, frustrating way to lose that that game uh, last night. And um, you're not a, a moral victory guy, but are you able to to look at some positives this morning when it comes to playing playing hard for 60 minutes and uh, and getting there? Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, there were some good things in the game, um, obviously. And just, they, as I said, after the game, they, they made a few more plays than we did, and ultimately that was the difference. Bill, when you look at the game, I think there were some situations in the game that you guys did a good job. The goal line stance right before the end of half where you're able to kind of create a turnover. Um what was that like for you as a defense to be able to create that create that opportunity for yourself to keep points off the board, uh, especially going into the the halftime? Yeah, well, that was a big series. Um, you know, defensively, uh, those guys did a great job. Obviously, you know, four chances from the one against a team like that. Um, so you know that was that was good. And then we just really couldn't. You know, just didn't, didn't have a real good third quarter as a team and, and then, um, you know, played competitively and, and then, you know, kind of missed some chances there. Um, that are the points in the game. But that was a big stop for us. The fourth down uh, stop early in the game uh, was, was, you know, big too. We had some, you know, good short yardage plays. A couple of them were, you know, close. Um, but... That was big. That was a big series. Bill, to see Mac Jones be able to go from a pick six and turn it around and throw that touchdown, Kendrick Bourne said after the game that he's able to forget and move forward as a rookie. How hard is that to do, and how impressed are you with him that he is able to do it? Yeah, Mac's shown a lot of poise, uh, you know, uh, ever since ever since he started here. So started practicing and. Um, you know, he's very competitive, but, you know, shows a lot of poise. And like I said, it's done that all the way through. We saw you go over to him after that pick. What would you say to him, Bill? Uh, I can't remember. You know, long way to go or something like that. Yeah. Bill, what makes it, you know, when you think about a team like the Cowboys and they have talent all over the place, what what makes them so difficult to defend? I know you guys did a good job against the run where they usually average about a buck 64 a game and you kept them down to one 122. Going into a game like that defensively, are you trying to take away one things, multiple things because they have so many players, uh, explosive players on the football field? Yeah, well, of course, you you have to stop the whole offense. It's not just one guy. And, um, you know, I think the the overall, you know, yardage of the running game um, is really a kind of yards per carry. I mean, they didn't, they didn't have a lot of explosive plays. They had a couple of, you know, 10-yard type runs that, um, you know, we, we certainly could have, could have played a little better. But... Um, yeah, I mean, between the running game, um, you know, two good backs, um, quarterback who I thought played played extremely well last night and extended some plays. Um, you know, where we had pretty good we had pretty good pass coverage, but um, he he got him off the hook with uh, not only extended plays but extended plays for completions and. Um, you know, in some cases, you know, pretty pretty good yardage. Um, you know, Lamb and Cooper are good receivers. Schultz is their leading receiver, so he's a good tight end. And they have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of good good players. Wilson, you know, made a made a big catch for him there at the end of the game. I thought that was, you know, uh, played with a lot of receivers. Might not have made, um, but they're they're hard to stop because they're they have very good players. They're well coached. Um, you know, their offensive system's good. And um, like I said, give them credit. They, they played well last night. 
Bill, uh, during the game, it seemed like you were bleeding on the sideline. A lot of people, whether it was the broadcast fans, uh, people that were at the game watching at home were worried about you. What was going on there? Yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> it's not life-threatening? <laughs> no, no. People were talking about it nonstop during the game. Um, Bill, did you give uh, did you give any consideration to going for it in overtime? I think it was uh, fourth and three. Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's you know, with their line, his field goal range, it's they're you know they they play can play on a pretty short field there. So um, you know, at that point, you're talking about. You know, one one first down could probably beat you there. So, um, no, not really. Bill, when you look at this season, you know, you guys have played in a lot of close games, and I know mentally that's taxing you know, on players and coaches. And to be where you are record-wise, two and four, very similar to last year at this kind of junction in the season, but also knowing that last year you guys had an opportunity to put yourself in position to make the playoffs. Can you take anything from last year in the sense of, hey, this season is far from over, especially to maybe help guys kind of stay in that mindset of, hey, we still got a lot of football left to play here, and we need to take it one game at a time? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we all know that, and I think that's that's the mindset, and that's what we're going to do. When you look towards the Jets, a team that you guys have already faced, is there, are there any different challenges that present themselves the week prepping for a team that you just saw a few weeks ago? Well, you just you can't think that it's going to be the same game. Um, you know, I think we see that in all sports. You know, we see a, you know, a doubleheader in one game is 9-8, and the next one's 2-1, one, or, you know, too much of a playoff basketball series, and you know, one team wins by 30, and then the next game, the other team wins by five. Um, you just can't. You know, each game is its own entity and has its own dynamics. And so we'll do what we always do and prepare for the game and, and um, they don't play it out. But there's the start all over again. Um, same thing to do at the beginning of each week and you know, continue to, to go through the process. Bill, you've had some uh, not quite home runs in the first round of the draft the last several years prior to Mac Jones, whether it's Nikhil Harry, Sony Michelle, Isaiah Wynn, who's been up and down at best. Do you think that this team is talented enough as currently constituted to make the playoffs? Yeah, well, again, I think we'll just, you know, take it one game at a time here and you know, see how things turn out. I don't know, there's 11 games left to go, so we'll... We'll see where we are. Bill, one area where I, I feel like you guys have continued to kind of do a good job is defensively in the red zone. What are some of the things that, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're doing differently to maybe continue? Because yesterday I want to say that uh, Dallas was two for five. So it seems like you guys have done a good job. What have you been doing specifically to keep teams from scoring touchdowns in the red zone? Um, well, I mean, the first thing is to make them go through the red zone, is to make them go, you know, not not score from the, the 25 or the 30. And, you know, that was, that was definitely a problem for us last year. Um, so, you know, I, I think we all know it gets tighter in the red area, less space to run. Secondary is closer to the line of scrimmage, uh, less space to throw. Can't throw it over your head, so it becomes more of a horizontal passing game. So, you know, Dallas took a number of, of vertical shots in, in the red area. Um, and, you know, we generally defended those, you know, pretty well. Um, but that's, you know, I think you just got to, you know, make sure that they don't score from, you know, and not have to go through the red area. And then, you know, count on your, your red area defense to, you know, force them to run enough plays that, you know, eventually you can keep them out of there. Um, you, you uh, at all concerned about the uh, your your quarterback's health uh, rest of the season uh, if he keeps taking some hits like he's been taking the last couple of weeks? Well, 
yeah, pass protection is important to us. The running game is important to us. You know, of course, all those all those things are important. Bill, when you look at uh, yeah, <clears throat> and an area of the game where you've always been very critical about making sure not to make mistakes has been special teams. It's probably two block punts this year. What, what do you think's going on there? I mean, that's something that we've really never seen from uh, a special teams coach team by you. What do you think of some of the mistakes that are leading to these breakdowns that that are allowing punts to be blocked? Yeah, we just obviously have to do a better job. Um, neither of those plays should have been a problem. Um, but... We just didn't execute them well enough, so obviously we have to coach them better and, and play them better. Um, so we'll just have to, you know, keep working on that. Um, we haven't done anything differently than we've done in the past, but uh, you're right. Two is, is certainly too, too many. Um, so, yeah, that's an area that we can't, we can't continue to make those kind of mistakes in or it'll continue to cost us. All right, Bill. Well, we'll let you get back to work. And uh, my, I guess my last question would be: Alex Cora mentioned again to the media that you sent him another text. Was that? Did you suggest that he start Chris Sale, or uh, do you not weigh in on things like that with Alex Cora? Yeah, I don't think he needs any help from me. Uh, <laughs> just wishing him well. You got to get on that group text, Chris. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'd like to.